a little bit late for me today, but welcome to day seven. I'm just making some lunch. No, I didn't have the tuna salad for lunch today. That I made that the other day. So today I've got the similar kind of version, but a bruschetta kind of version. It's not bruschetta, it's bruschetta. <laughs> just so you know. Uh, but it's a veggie version. I've also added some fresh zucchini out of the garden. But I just love balsamic vinegar and I love fresh basil. So this is my way to do it. Anyway, the reason I'm jumping on is because I jump on every day. <laughs> but also the challenge with this eating plan is that it's actually super simple. Sometimes just kind of going off the theory of what the one we spoke of what we spoke about last week about being comfortably numb when the situation isn't that bad that you don't need to change unless you get like a health scare and then you like kind of forced into changing. Well, when it comes to the food side of things, because it's so simple, sometimes then we get comfortable in that and we think that it should be a lot harder. Therefore, we kind of throw in the towel and don't do it. We don't do what we know we should because it's it's not that hard. It's actually really simple. It's not, we're not, we don't have our eating like so wrong that we need to change everything. It's like, no, what you're currently eating is totally fine. We just need to make the numbers work, right? So if you're not sticking to your numbers, if you're not trying, then there's a bigger reason than what, there's a bigger reason than just not doing it because it's really simple. It really is. So maybe then you need to go back and revisit your why. Why do you? Act, why did you even enter an eight-week challenge? You clearly entered it because you wanted a different result to what you're currently getting and consistency rewards. So if you're not willing to do something different, then you've got to tap into somewhere else to force yourself to get out of that comfortably numb situation to then make yourself have to want to do things differently. Because if, if you continuously do the same thing and expect a different result, that's actually the definition of insanity. So it is a challenge when, oh, there's a freaking fly. <laughs> it is a challenge when things are simple and it's not oh, super hard to eat this way. It's actually quite a lot of food. You know, it's pretty good. It's pretty close to what you're already eating. Uh, we're not telling you to do shakes and, you know, exercise for nine hours a day and all that kind of thing. So if you're not doing what you know you need to do, then you need to go a little bit deeper and look into the psychology of it because the action is not that hard. <laughs> it's just sometimes we act like children and we just don't want to do what we know that we should be doing because <laughs> we have to be adults because we are adults. Um, but look at why you actually got into the eight week challenge. Like when it comes down to it, why did you actually sign up? Is it because you don't love yourself? Is it because you want to get laid? <laughs> I don't know. You got to work out why it is you want to do it. Is it because it's for your kids? So we will always do more for others than we will do for ourselves. So if you put it on your children or your family or something bigger than you, that's going to give you the pull to keep going because it's not that hard. It's not that easy. We're kind of in the middle with this challenge. It's like, it's not the comfort of doing what you've been doing, but you don't want the same result, right? So you do have to change something, but it's also not that dr drastically different to what you're doing and it's not that hard. So find a bigger why or actually dive into it. Now, if you're not sure, you need a bit of help on the goal setting side of things. Friday nights, 5 p.m., Dean um, holds a challenge check-in uh, and you'll get some answers there, I promise you. Or reach out to me. I would love to chat to you. But I want you to think about it first is, you know, what, why did you do this to start with? Where are you? Where do you need help, guidance? What's going to get you there? Who can you do it for rather than doing it for yourself? Hmm. See how we go. All right. Hopefully that has uh, provided you with some... Something to think about, some insight. I'm going to have my bruschetta before I do my bike workout. And I'll see you tomorrow. See you beautiful people. Have a great day, you may as well.